season. He wore mummy-like bandages for a good few weeks until it finally healed. And he's not in the best of shape at the moment. All the celebrating is with the Melbourne Croatia fans. We've got uh, another eight minutes to see out with this 1-0 lead, and they're the champions. Titi wins the free kick. He must be feeling confident now, Ward. I don't know whether Ken's the type that was ever really happy until that whistle sounds. It would be a great feather in his cap come straight into NSL football and take the national championship as coach. Melbourne, Croatia began the season with Ante Grigic as their coach. He lasted nine, uh, eight rounds. A few fill-ins, including uh, George Hanna, who took the reins for a week, their uh, longer-serving player. And then Ken Warden across from Perth. And he has still instilled a discipline into this team that, well, in a few minutes' time, we'll see them to the championship. Maybe they can put it beyond doubt with another goal. Kelic. Ivan Kelic trying to wrestle his way past the final defender. He got past two or three. <laughs> Captain Biscuit to take the corner. Hasn't even come up this time. I think he'd be looking for the fall at the, uh, the edge of the box and see if he can notch another one like he did in the first half. Kelic coming in on the near post, right some sort of header away. Tumboli again very deep, but it's a good ball for Taliadoras. Salamidis across in front of him. Good run from Taliadoras and nothing in the challenge. Worth a try, I guess. But they've got a corner. Lovely ball here by Paul Trimboli. Look at the weight on this. Perfect pinpoint pass. Talia Doris trying to go around Salamidis, but Theo's a lot quicker than he looks in the, in the box there, trying to cut across the front of him and look for the penalty. Full rolled out for what looked like a goal kick, but the referee's given a corner. All red shirts to hit the ball away. Durakovic did well Salakis to get it back in the box, but it's Salamidis who gets it away. Late challenge on Durakovic from Biskic and a free kick for South Melbourne. Official crowd of 21,338 for the first All-Melbourne NSL Grand Final. It's a good crowd to get up over the 20,000. There's only half of them happy at the moment. As Peterson can conjure something. Good jump from Trimboli. But no blues at the fall of it. And George Hanna goes for a gallop. Gets those 33-year-old legs moving. Awaratiki's free. There's Kellich. Just too strong. And leaving his line, McLaren wants to get something quickly happening at the other end. Inside the last five minutes. Blair has worked tirelessly. Desperation in the eyes of Palazzides as he gets it to Peterson. Floating the ball in for Postacoglu. Wade shut down by Biskic. No joy for Angie Postacoglu. They just 
got to hold their concentration now, Melbourne, Croatia, and the title's theirs. Talach is tired a little bit, but he gave so much in the first two thirds of the match. Kostakoklu heads back down to defence, not with a great deal of pace. There are a lot of players staggering out there. Blair could hardly rise to his feet after heading that away. Davor Filipovic, team manager, up with Ken Warden on the Melbourne Croatia bench. Any anxiety would be stilled by a second goal. Three minutes left. And the referee's adding a bit of extra time. Just having a word to the Melbourne Croatia captain, Joe Biskic. Sets his watch going again. Plenty of blue shirts back there, but Kelic wins it in the air. Franco Milosevic, way charging at him. Davidson. Peterson takes it away. Good chasing back there from all of them. And Marf tries another long-range special. <laughs> and a little bit of a chuckle on the face of the goal scorer. What a time to score your first goal in a final. Only your second goal of the season. It came after 25 minutes. Melbourne Croatia have dominated since then. Tremendous jump, even at this late stage, from Marth. Trimboli works himself into a bit of space. What a ball for Palazzini's! The recall! An equaliser from nowhere from South Melbourne. It was Paul Trimboli who conjured it up. A lack of concentration from Melbourne Croatia. The only man not on his feet is Ferenc Puskas, the South coach, and we're heading for extra time. Joe Palazzini's. Hardly sighted in the last 10 minutes. It was Trimbali who turned to Lange inside out. Marth couldn't shut him down. And Palazzini's presence of mind in the 88th minute, he levels the scores. Little back header there from Taliadoris. Ever alert, eyes up. Trimboli, he had two free, Postacoglu or Palazzini's. And a delighted Joe Palazzini's. Looks like sending us into extra time. Well, it was just one-way traffic all to the South Melbourne end, and all of a sudden, 